Okay. So, yes, I've seen a lot of stuff. Um, until I moved hotels. Then when I moved to hotels, I saw nothing because <laughs> um, I used to get in trouble. I, I would get in trouble. I don't understand. All right. I'll explain. Here's one story. We'll start off with uh, with this one story. So one night I was uh, at this point, I believe I was staying at the Marriott. Okay. My travel lodge days were over and I was at the Marriott, but we went over to hang out with the boys. So everybody was in one room. And we were just sitting there minding our own business, just talking. You know, there was five or six of us having a conversation. And everybody would leave their doors with the latch, you know, so you can come in and out of rooms. That's just the way it was back then. Mikey Whiprack runs into the room and grabs me. And he says, you have to see this. And I, I have no idea what's going on because I'm just in the quiet room chatting. So I go yeah what is it okay blah 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 so i he's now he's got me by my wrist or he's holding my hand he's got me and he's pulling me by the arm down the corridor to this other room now when we get to the other room i see some of the wives some of the girlfriends peeking in this door and they're all commenting they're all saying ew ew so gross ew how could you ew you ew you ew you all these different things are coming out of their mouths. Mikey pulls me in and it's a girl on her knees and it's five wrestlers oh my gosh. standing in a line naked. I'm not saying who because I'm not going to get in trouble a second time. I got in trouble the first time. All I said was, oh, my God, or something like that. But I was loud because I was just like, oh, my eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't see anything. Got to go. You know, and I left, walked out. Mikey's hilarious. The, the women are appalled. I'm just like, what did I just see? The girl was one. And then she went to the next one and was they were in a line. You know, it was like a porn it was like very know. organized of them that's very uh yes they, they were all lined organized. up and easy for easy access for the girl to just go around and do her deal and you know i went back to the room and i think i told people what i saw but it was just like eh, what are you gonna do just started chatting again no big deal well it was a big deal according to the girl because i was francine one of the, you know, performers, she saw me, got up, started screaming, crying, and she starts yelling and all this bullshit. And she runs out of the room naked into the hallway. Now, she didn't stop when all those other girls came in, but because it was me and I saw her, she got embarrassed or whatever. And the boys got mad at me because I popped in and ruined their fun. The other girls didn't ruin their fun. I ruined their fun. So now I got all this heat on me. They go, they tell Paul, I get a phone call. I'm just like, I didn't do anything wrong. I, <laughs> Mikey pulled me into this room and I came out of nowhere. And it blew over, but I mean, uh, I'm, I apologize. I ruined everybody's blood. Sorry. Is this where you have to apologize to the locker room? Guys, look, I'm so sorry. You know, <laughs> I mean, there's just so much the eyes can handle. Uh, like, why would you have to be any bit apologetic for, for something so stupid? I mean, do you think the girl would have, like, at least flinched with the other, like, there were, like, Four or five broads in front of me saying, ew, gross, calling her names. All I said was, oh, my God. i like, oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, you know, whatever. I It wasn't like I screamed or I was just like, ah, oh, what is, what is, what am I seeing? Okay, Mikey, get me out of here. You know, and we laughed. Yeah. 
And because I'm one of the boys, she got embarrassed and, you know, ran out into the hallway and was mortified and da, 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 da. And I was just like, and I didn't know who she was. I, I don't know who she is. So I got, I guess I got heat for it. I got in trouble for it. Sorry, whatever. Life goes on. ECW's closed years later. I'm in my ECW jacket. It's winter time. I'm at a casino with my mother, who is old. <laughs> We're playing a slot machine together. We're having a nice day. And I feel a tap on my shoulder. And I turn around and I don't know who it is. And it's a girl. And she says, excuse me, are you Francine from ECW? And I go, yes, yes, I am. Hello. How are you? Like, and she says, uh, I don't know if you remember me, but I did a lot of not nice things. And the light bulb <laughs> went off in my head. <laughs> and I went, holy, shit, that's the girl. And I pretended I didn't know because I didn't want to embarrass her. And I didn't want her to keep talking in front of my old mom. Like, you know, like, have some courtesy. It's an old lady sitting here. <laughs> Uh, you didn't say hold that hold that thought no, no, no. concession no. stand grab a I, few hot dogs and told her hold these no yes i, I remember you i just said no hon i'm sorry i don't remember you and and she said uh uh this is something to the to the point of you know i made a lot of wrong decisions back then but i'm not that person anymore and i just wanted to apologize to you and say hello and blah 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 and I said, oh, well, it's nice seeing you again. I'm sorry. I don't remember who you are, but, um, you know, Godspeed and see you later. And uh, she walked away. I told my mom exactly what happened. I was like, mom, that was the girl. Uh, but I would have never embarrassed her to her face because that's, I mean, who does that? That's pretty embarrassing, I would think, you know, but um, to this day, why would you not get up and run out for the first person who comes in and sees you? Right. Cause if it's private and you're trying to do something behind closed doors, the first time the door opens, then don't you go, Oh, you cover up, you know, you're like, Oh my God, I can't believe she it. did not. She carried on. And, and the thing that bothered me about it, if all the boys wanted to keep this sacred close. The yeah. Why did you have the latch? You wanted, you know, maybe, maybe guy number six wanted to come in and get on. Okay, the, that was going to be one of my questions. Prob I mean, that's the only thing I can think of why the latch was open on the door, right. or, or the, you know, it wasn't. If you want privacy, shut the door. Then nobody would have came in because those doors lock. You, you unless you had a key, which mm -hmm. we didn't have a key. It was just the latch was there, so Mikey pushed the door open, and there she was. I saw everything. Two questions to follow that up. One, was it common? And this is another reason. It's just, I'm just thinking the party atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Was it common for wives and girlfriends to commingle if there was a scenario like that going on? Or was that kind of stuff not done in plain sight that was maybe done behind a locked door? Um, it, it You know, it really depends. Like there were certain girlfriends or wives that kind of were always around because they would come to the shows and then they would be they would hang out and then there were times like especially like if it wasn't in philly if we were on the road there'd be no one there and i mean it'd be a circus you know it's just everybody right you're just doing whatever um but the thing like i said the thing that bothered me was why did the girl care? Is it because I was who I am? I because I'm one of the boys because I was a performer. I, you know, I feel like if the girl had any dignity at all, she should have stopped when the first person went into that room. Right. But she did not. And there were there were five or six women ahead of me. I saw them go into the room. I saw them. I heard what they said to her. She just kept going. But when when it was me and I uh, and honestly, it was like I kind of like went in there and I was like a deer in the headlights. I kind of froze because I couldn't believe what I saw. Right. Because I really you hear stories and the boys would tell you stories, but I didn't witness a lot of the debauchery. I wasn't in the room for because I didn't want to be around that kind of stuff. That's not my deal. 
So when Mikey just was like, you got to see this. It's hilarious. It's hysterical. It's so funny. It's just like, this is gross. Like, what is so funny about this? You know what I mean? It was just weird. It was awkward for me. I'm sure it was awkward for the girl. But why was everybody mad at me? I wasn't the one that, well, I guess I kind of was because she, I was the only one that affected her. But everybody else, they were yelling obscenities at the girl and she just kept going. In and the I, moment, you know, she couldn't break uh, <laughs> the fourth wall. I don't know, but her. I was accused of ruining everybody's fun. Wow. Yeah. I now, got what was Paul's comments to you? So you get the phone call. You pick up. It's Paul. You know, I don't even remember. It was kind of like, you know, the boys said that you kind of <laughs> or something. Like, I, and I explained. I said, look, this is what happened. I didn't even want to be in that room. Yeah. I didn't know what I was where I was going, what I was getting into, I was pulled into a room. I saw what I saw and I made a comment like, oh my God, you know, I got to get out of here. I think I said, oh God, I got to get out of here. The girl looked at me and panicked and just got up and just ran like a, like I got out of the room and then she was like right behind me. <laughs> oh my God. And then the boy like, was it my fault that she said, no, blame her. Don't, why are you blaming me? It wasn't like I said, honey, they're you better get out of the room. I didn't say no, I didn't say anything. I didn't even I was just like, I gotta get out of here. You reacted and then you, you know, you reacted in a way somebody who wasn't anticipating. He didn't a, give me a heads up, Mikey. He five, just said you five way see DJ. <laughs> yeah. He was just like, You you have to see this. And I was just like, Okay, sounds like fun, you know. I'm and then after that, it was like, You're not allowed to come to the travel lodge anymore. And I was just like, <laughs> Okay, that's fine. So then I got heat. Like Mikey got mad at me for the longest time because I wouldn't hang out. And I was just like, um, I was told not to go to the travel lodge because I guess I ruined everyone. So like I was getting heat from everybody. And I was like, I didn't even do anything. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it was so dumb. So dumb. And like Shane was, Shane was one of the people you're not allowed to go to the travel lodge anymore. Was he really? Oh, yeah. I'm going to zip this shirt up now. <laughs> and I said, look, they're my friends, too. And he's like, stay away from that scene. I don't want you there. Stay away from that scene. And I'm sure oh, he, he was doing it in a, in a way of like, just keep, you know, keep your, keep like. I guess he was, but he just, um, he didn't like the, tra <laughs> he didn't like what went on at the travel lodge. And uh, I remember him being one of the people. Now, I don't know if the boys told him, get her out of here because and all our fun maybe that was the key he didn't say it he didn't tell me why he was just like you shouldn't be around the travel lodge don't go there and then mikey's like oh you're too good to hang with us i'm oh, like no i'm not i'm not too good to hang with you like i love i loved going to the travel lodge because it was just a party like we would go to the bar we would have drink we would be with the fans we'd have drinks we'd watch the show at 2 a.m i i enjoyed that but then I, I had to stay at the Marriott. I wasn't allowed to go there anymore. So now I'm stuck up and I'm not allowed to go uh, hang with, oh, the mid Carters or, you know, you're, you're the main event now. You don't want to, you don't hang out with us anymore. So I got heat on both sides. I couldn't oh, win. That sucks. I couldn't win. Wow. No. And for the longest time, Mikey was mad at me and he didn't talk to me. And then we, we finally hashed things. I was like, why are you so bitter? I don't understand. I would get a half ass hello at the shows and i'm like mikey and finally he told i was like that's not my fault go talk to the franchise and go you know <laughs> and he's like i always thought you just didn't want to hang with us i'm like no i was dying to go over there i was bored at the marriott half the time there was no one there there was nothing to do you know we'd go out to eat and then we'd go to bed but they 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 always had a party going on over there